Hello everybody, and this is Blunarius level 19. I haven't done a commentary on this yet, um, but once I did level 18, I realized, like, that's when the scaling got insane. So I kind of felt like I needed to do a commentary, and my explanation of what I'm doing. I don't deem Moab Mollard as useful, only for the fact it's more about projectile to count, as opposed to, like, overall damage. And eventually, like, your defense is enough, and I was trying some new stuff this time. Um... I tried a uh, super funky man club and you know it, it it did okay um as you can see it is going through its health rather quickly although um once you get past level 18 a trick I learned is um don't worry so much about playing it on slow because it does become a race against the clock so you do only have one hour to take out all of its health and it's more it's better just to pay the money and play it on fast forward to get as many attempts and it's possible because it's more about damage per second more than damage per attempt. Um, that's like the big thing I've learned from this. Um, also, uh, as you can see, the Super Funky Man Club is working decently. And then I got my destroyers. Uh, this is also on four times speed, so this was 40 minutes of attempts, roughly, probably about 42 to 45. Uh, and the scaling gets really insane really quickly, and it gets to the point to where you make a ton of money, like, and then I tried to go for the spike mines, and I couldn't afford it without selling destroyers, so that really ended up putting a damper on what I was doing, uh, but then, you know, I think Facebook popped up or something for that point, something of a second, it's not that big a deal, it is my fake Facebook that I do use for in-case stuff and battles on the mobile, so, yeah, that's cool, I have that, and, um, also, mobile, I'll record that someday, but I have such a big backlog right now, like, this is probably gonna go up in weeks, if I'm being honest, but, uh, as you can see, you know, you go through, you get a little bit of health down, and you just keep doing that, and you keep doing attempts, you put it on fast forward, um, just ignore, like, only put it on slow for specific parts, and that's really what it takes, and honestly, you could do it in five attempts, but the thing is, like, you don't, you're not sure if you have the time to do it, it's better to do it in, like, six or seven, and actually get it done within the hour, as opposed to, like, putting it on slow so you can assassin spam faster, um, you know, it's really what it's about, uh, call to arms is something that's gonna be very viable very soon, um, I couldn't place my darlings, but, I'm still not sure if Darlings are the way to go, but I, I just like them, you know, it seems useful to me, it could be not, and then I have a Tax Shooter Island, and Tax Shooters actually have more damage per second than a Moab Mauler, for the fact, on how wide the thing is all 16 tax set, and it shoots faster, and it's around the same price, you just need to move them up a little bit more, and then a BFB came, that's no big deal, I just microed that down, and it got um, beaten into nothing. And I don't get the dart thing, because as I said, it's more about projectile, um, as opposed to overall. Like, you want to have more projectiles a second hitting it, rather than, like, something that can hit, like, have 20 peers or something. Um, Moab Shredders are very good to use on that island. I would recommend doing that with any strat. Then I tried doing, like, you know what, let's just get a ton of Moab Shredders. I'm like, let's see how it does. It does okay. It really does not do that bad. Then I put this on slow because I'm trying to get more stuff up because it's I think that it's it's beneficial to the time that it's on slow compared to, you know it, it's just my new things like that um, of times so, you know it could be wrong it could be right but it's not that big of a deal then I start assassin spamming and then I'm trying to get up more defense then I start getting some region leads and I'm like uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna die I just leak the camos it's not really a big deal Moabs I just hope my destroyers pop it and I just keep going and it does leak a little bit of health. And then once it gets down super far, you just want to go one at a time on assassins, because it, you know, if you, it's better off to get one than not get off, than miss getting two different ones, if that makes sense. Um, and as you can see, the scaling does get really insane really quickly, and I'm not even at level 25 yet, which I do hope to get by the end of the week, and I'll start using bloomstones if I need to. Uh, my city also at level 40. That'll probably be out after this, to be honest, because it's not as important as per se. Um, I'm doing first looks. I'm also using a new audio setup, which I've probably said in the past three videos, but the first one with the new audio setup did go out today, and I literally have over 15 things backlogged. Um, so, you know, there's some stuff that, there's, there's content for the future, definitely. It's gonna keep going daily for a while. It might not be daily forever, but at least the next couple weeks, it'll be daily. 
and I'll have stuff backlogged for when I'm on vacation out of country. You know, all is going well. Um, 2500 Q&A thing. Um, right now, at the time I'm recording, it's in the 2585, and the Camgro DDT did go out yesterday. So feel free to comment questions on that video, because that's where I'm going to be getting the majority of my questions from. Um, so go to that video if you have not watched it to comment questions for that. Unless it's unless the Q and A is already out and this is completely irrelevant, but then I died. It, it was close, I think. I'm not sure. So I think that's all I really have to say about Blunarius for level 25. Some towers. I start. I'd start with boats just about every single time. It's really the most effective start, and it generates a lot of money quickly. And I think that only do generate a decent amount of money out. Now, if people didn't notice the one one wizard I started with, that's to get a hundred percent of the lead. It's full lead popping power. It gets all of them, and it's probably the cheapest way to get all of them. At least I'd say it like. I don't know. I think I find it more reliable than the cannon. I really do. And um. Pretty much, I'm playing most of it on fast forward, and then I started using Tax Shooter Island, and sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I'm still trying to work out a perfect strat for people, but this is what I've came up with. And, you know, it's possible to get these in like four, five attempts. Four is a stretch, four is a stretch, but five is definitely possible. I think I get it like in six or seven, because I'd rather go for DPS per second to get it done in the quickest amount of time possible, because this took 40 minutes with fast forwarding it most of the time, as a put in like. No, it makes a big difference. Like, if I didn't use fast forward, it would be well over an hour. So, as you can see, you know, you're just whittling down its health, and then, like, when a ZMG comes early, it gets really scary. And, you know, it, it, it kind of sucks because, like, it hurts your ego for the rest of the game as opposed to just the beginning part. And then I generally try to get up a Robo or a Robo Plasma just based on my money standing so I can micro assassin with, like, out having that much extra leftover money. Then a ton of bloods come. I did get up a Ring of Fire to hopefully cool that down. And it did work out pretty well. Then I went back to my assassin spamming. And the trick to microing fast in BMC is to get more than one at a time. And it goes through. And this is where I get the really early ZOMG. So it would have been better to play it on slow to get more assassins out. Just so I wouldn't have that early ZOMG to hinder me. But what's done is done. Um, level 20 guide should be uploaded today or tomorrow. But it won't be public till like a... I don't know when. But I think that's all I really have to say. Um, I'll end out the last couple minutes with music, so I'll see you guys all later. Have a good day.